Thanks. Today, Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro signed an executive order creating a first in the nation job training program. The program aims to get more skilled workers for critical infrastructure projects around the state. Erie News Now State Capitol correspondent Brendan Scanlon is live in Harrisburg with the impact it could have on the Commonwealth. Good evening, Brendan. Hey there, Mike. Good evening. That's exactly right. Well, giving companies, contractors and unions the ability to obtain and train workers for critical infrastructure projects. That's really the goal of Governor Shapiro's executive order, which he signed earlier today in Pittsburgh. The new order creates the Commonwealth Workforce Transformation Program. The program will provide grants of up to $40,000 for each new employee hired and trained by organizations. Those organizations have to be doing work funded by the Federal Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act or the Inflation Reduction Act, again, two federal acts. It would provide up to a maximum of $400,000 per contract or award under the two federal acts. And now these grants would reimburse employers for the cost of wages, payroll taxes, and training costs paid to or on behalf of new employees. It can be used for things like apprenticeship and pre-apprenticeship programs and other training costs. Now, Governor Shapiro says it is a smart investment of the billions in federal infrastructure dollars the Commonwealth has coming its way in the next few years. This will allow us to invest up to $400 million in federal funding in on-the-job workforce training over the next five years. This is an unprecedented executive order. No other state is doing this yet. Now, in 2022, Pennsylvania was graded a C- minus on its infrastructure report card by the American Society of Civil Engineers. Now, employers, contractors, anybody interested in learning more about this program, including eligibility requirements, they can find more details up on our website, erienewsnow.com. But for now, reporting live at the state capitol in Harrisburg, I'm Brendan Scanland. Mike, back to you. Brendan, thanks. Plenty more to come.